What's good? Man, feel like a brand new man, dog. I ain't gonna cap. Hey, when you get that sleep, that, that sleep underrated, dog. That sleep underrated. Now, this video is for whoever thinks this way. Whoever thinks this way, hold on, let me see that. Oh shit, I didn't want to read that shit, but no, I try to talk to my little cousin on her post today, and of course she's going to get mad, because you know, when you tell the truth, they get mad, you know, but oh well, I don't give a fuck, when it comes to people you care about, who cares if they get mad, right, let them get mad, because I'm going to keep pissing them off, because I know it's the truth. No man, if you're a woman with kids, no man should, uh, no man really deserves to be with you if he's not going to take care of your kids too. I don't understand why this is a, I get it, women want to make it seem like they don't need a man and all this and all that, but by default, this is what, what I'm going to tell y'all like I try to tell my little cousin, by default, if a man really fuck with you, by default, he's going to want to take care, hold on, I got to talk to them for a second. I'm bad, I'm back, y'all. Shit, I had a man, they be letting their dog shit in the front instead of the back. Then the dog be shitting on my shit. Like, why not take this? It's a big ass fucking yard in the back. Like, common sense, man. Like, this really irks the fuck out of me. Common sense. Why not have your dog shit in the back in that whole field? Why the fuck would you let the dog shit in the front? Like, you gonna smell that shit and everything, man. Another reason why you need to get your own shit, your own house. Only reason why I don't have a house is I don't have um, a family, or I would. It's just a cheaper route not to deal with it, but whatever, man. Back to what I was talking about. By default, no man that really fuck with you is going to be like, you know what, I fuck with you, but I'm not going to take care of you. Cause that don't work that way. That don't work that way. I don't give a fuck what y'all say about 
you don't care if a man takes care of your kids or not. But guess what? Even if you didn't care, let's just say this. Even as a woman, if you did not care if a man took care of your kids or not, by default, he would want to. And by default, why would you even deal with a man that is not going to um, help you in your life? It doesn't matter. Even Beyonce knows because a lot of women are on this uh, ego trip that I don't need a man. Even a half a billionaire, Beyonce knows, still gets with a man that has things. Like, honestly, the more money a woman has, the more she should get with a man that has things going for himself. Why the fuck would you get with a man that is going to live off of you? And knowing how a man is biologically designed, no man is going to want to live off of one. So therefore, by default, there's no way possible that a man could just live off of a woman it's impossible it's impossible for a man to just live off of a woman that he cares about now maybe men hit hard times and the woman has to hold it down that's different but that man's still gonna be like i can't let her do that i can't just sit at home playing video games while she's just doing this he's not gonna have that because he cares about you so and if a man cares about you he's gonna care about your kids by default i, I don't understand why women are letting men basically pump them into you know it's okay for you to kick it and sleep with me but you don't have to deal with my kids type shit nah then don't deal with no man period i wouldn't if i had a kid and the woman's like well i can't deal with you and uh, i can't deal with your daughter or your son then you can't deal with me that's just the way it is that's the way it has to be i don't understand why y'all let men try to punk y'all into this shit but trust me man it, it really shows if a man really cares about you or not it really, that's one of the best ways to tell if a man really care about you or not. Now, some men can fake like they fuck with you or your kids to try to sleep with you, but for the most part, if a man really fuck with you, he's going to fuck with your kids. That's just common sense because your kid, he's going to, when you see somebody's kids, you see a part of them. They might not look alike or some shit like that, but you still know that that, that is that person's kid. So it's like a part of them. You know what I mean? I don't understand, but y'all do what y'all do. My cousin, she going to do what she do, and the rest of the people going to do what they do. You know what I mean? And they're going to make me the bad guy and say that I'm judging them and this and that. But all I'm trying to do is tell them that you're settling if you're dealing with a guy. If you have kids and, and you're dealing with a guy who don't um want to be a part of your kid's life, too, you're settling. Maybe not at first. Because you don't know if y'all going to fuck around like that. But after so long, that's crazy. It, it's crazy, man. They got a kid's dad, so they don't need they don't need a dad. That's bullshit. Now they got two dads. They got a real dad and that stepfather. Shit, that's even better. Why don't women want what's best for their kids? I don't understand this shit. When you date, you're dating for your kids, too. How did it go from that to I'm only dating for me, not my kids? How? So a man could just come in, smash, eat food from probably your kids, you know what I mean? Take food out your kid's refrigerator, and he ain't got to do nothing. All he got to do is love you, not your kids, though, right? Don't make sense. You know, these men have tricked y'all, man. They have made y'all believe that it's okay to do this. It's not okay to do this. It's not, it's never been okay to do this. And, uh, and, um, the most important thing about all this is even if you didn't want the, the dude to fuck with your kids or not, he would by default. So if you want a man to actually care about you by default, he's going to fuck with your kids. If you got him by default, I guess you can't tell people this shit though. I guess they like liking people who don't like them really. You know what I mean? Cause there ain't no way a man really like you and say, you know what, I like, I'm fucking with you, but I ain't fucking with your kids. That don't even sound right, man. That don't even sound right. I don't even have to be with you. You could be a neighbor and I'm going to fuck with your kids. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like if I got kids and you just a neighbor, I'm going to fuck with your kids like they're my own. So you're trying to tell me a woman who, uh, is I'm intimate with and supposedly love. I don't fuck with her kids. But I fuck with a neighbor. I'm a fuck. Come on, man. It don't make sense. It makes zero sense, y'all. It might be harder to find a man this way, but you'll find the right one this way. 
it's better to just deal with it just like it's harder to find the right woman if you got principles morals you're not going to just cash out for pussy and this and that so be it you'll find the right one though you see what i'm saying so be it it might be harder to find a man if you want if you um don't want to show your body that so much to the Facebook and all that, but so be it. You'll find the one that actually want to fuck with you, though. See, everybody, um, everybody's so obsessed with how much people are fuck or seem to be fucking with them that they don't realize that the golden shit is really who's really fucking with you. So this guy might have ninety nine girls all over him for whatever reasons, bottles, whatever. He paying this and that, but. Maybe I only got one or two, but they solid and they really real. And they really fuck with me. Who's really winning this shit? The man who really got the one or two. Not the man who got the hundred um, snakes that's only around because he's popping bottles and shit. Or women, vice versa. A thousand men because she's showing her body versus this girl who's not showing her body. And the guy acknowledges that more. You know, not saying that a man don't like when a woman shows her body. But let's just say from an aspect of like Facebook surface. This girl's not showing her body. She's not showing pictures of her body. And this one is. And that's why I'm fucking with her. Because I only want one that shows me her body. You see that? But I guess that type of shit is overlooked. But y'all got to get up out of this. I don't need a, nobody to take care of my kids bullshit. Why the fuck would you not want your kids to have the abundance? It don't matter if they got one real dad and five step dads or whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Shit, two's better than one. Real, he, 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 his real dad not around. He got a stepdad to go to. What the fuck is wrong with this? Like, why do y'all want a grown ass man sitting in your house and shit, or giving your emotions and your body and all this other shit too? But he does nothing for your kids at all. Doesn't make sense to me. Doesn't make sense to me. Now, if you like. Just talking to a guy, it makes sense because you don't want to force shit down. You know what I mean? You don't want to come off like that. But all in all, that guy by default, he's going to want to, once he knows, okay, I know she got kids. Like, why would I even fuck with a woman if I'm not going to be willing to deal with her kids later on? It don't make sense. You know what I mean? The only sense it does make is if a man just want to hit and that's it. But, you know, a lot of women are okay with this. So... They're going to get what they get. They're going to get what they get. It's sad, man. I don't understand why my little cousin think I'm always, you know, trying to come at her in some type of way. But she should realize that somebody like me is something golden. She don't even realize it. You know, she needs people like me that tell her the truth, not what she want to hear all the time. That's the problem. Too much of, you know, people telling people what they want to hear. Instead of what they need to hear. And then the mom might even feel like I'm I'm attacking the daughter. Why would I no, nah, I care about my family. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna say what they need to hear, regardless. I don't give a damn. If they get mad at me, it is what it is. I gotta say what I gotta say. It's no different if they was my sisters. I'm gonna say the same shit. I'm gonna tell my sister the same shit. I'm gonna tell my daughters the same shit. So the same shit I tell my little cousin, I'm going to tell my daughters, my my um, female cousins, everybody. It's the same. If you got kids, you need to get with a man that's going to be there for your kids. Fuck that attraction bullshit. Oh, he's an alpha, but he don't, he won't fuck with my kids, but he'll fuck with me. And he looks so much better and all this. Nah, fuck all that. You know, um... Honestly, from day one, women should have been dating for uh, their kids, even if they didn't have them yet. Like right now, I don't really, I don't have a kid. So I, if I look for a woman, just in case I did have a kid by the woman, I should date in, with that mindset. I shouldn't be like, well, she's just fine, but she's not a mom, you know, so I'll just fuck. No, I can't do that. Because what if I did have a kid by the girl? Then what? You see what I'm saying? Plus, your kids are going to not like that. Your kids ain't going to like some guy that's just there, 
You know, he's just some stranger that just walks into the house at night and walks out the next day. And they ain't going to like that. Like, who's, who's this guy? You know what I mean? It's important for the, 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 um, the, the, the guy to be in your kid's life, man. Or he's just not the right one. He's just not the right one. And I know that's why women are doing this because they feel like if they come with this type of mentality that it's, it's going to give them more options. But remember one thing that I've told you already. I'm going to say it again. If a guy really fuck with you, he's going to fuck with your kids. So why would you go that route? If you really want to get with somebody who really fuck with you, you should demand that a man fuck with your kids too. Because that's going to be somebody who's really fuck with you. If you don't demand, it's going to be cloudy. You're not going to be able to tell if a guy really fuck with you or not. Plus, like I said, man, ain't no way no man that really fuck with you know you got kids and I'm not going to fuck with your kids. I'm just going to fuck with you. I don't give a fuck what you say. He might fuck with you on a sexual level, but to really fuck with you? Nah, he can't. There's no way. There's no way because you care about that woman and by you caring about that woman, you're going to wonder if her kids are okay because that's part of the woman. The woman has to do certain things for her kid to survive and for her kids to be fed and shit like that. So you're trying to tell me a man's going to just ignore all that and just fuck with you? Don't make sense. It's, it's bullshit. It's cap. It's that feminist bullshit movement bullshit that these women are under, you know, thinking that. They don't have to date a man for their kids, too. Yes, you do. As long as you're a mom. Especially if your kids are under 18. I'm going to say under 16 because once they hit like 16, they can get their own job. They better be getting their own job. You know what I mean? But even then, even then, you, you still should want to deal with a guy that's going to want to be there for your kids mentally. Try to help them, mold them through life and all this shit. This shit don't stop at fucking 18 or 16. This shit is a lifetime thing. Don't let these men con y'all into believing that, you know, um, I, I, so I could fuck with you, but I'm not going to fuck with your kids. You know what I mean? Now, don't let these men con you into that shit, man. Because there's men out there that will fuck with you and your kids, and that's the way it's supposed to be. If you don't want, if a man doesn't want to fuck with a woman because of her kids, then he shouldn't fuck with a woman, period. Plain and simple. So you gotta ask yourself, why would a man fuck with a woman if he doesn't want to fuck with her kids? There's only one explanation for this. We already know what that is. I'm not gonna get into it. So why do women have this mentality that it's okay? It's not okay. It's not okay. You gotta date for your kids, man. If you got kids, you got to date for your kids too. You're not just dating for you. It'll never work that way because the guy, if a guy doesn't like you enough to like your kids, he's not going to like you enough to, oh shit, you, you, um, I'm getting tired of her not being able to kick it because she got to watch her kids and shit. See, he don't care about the kids. So he, it's not going to work anyway. Man, fuck this shit. I'm done. I'm going to find somebody else to fuck with. But if he care about the kids too, he's going to sacrifice. It is what it is. I'm not saying that a man should get with a woman with kids. I'm not saying he shouldn't. I'm just saying if you do, then you got to consider the kids too. You can't just have the woman and not the kids. If you don't want to deal with the kids, then get with a woman who don't got kids. You know, or a woman who got kids that are grown. I don't know what else to tell y'all. But to be out here dealing with women, knowing that you don't want nothing to do with their kids, that's bullshit, man. And it's even more bullshit if a woman allows it because she she listens to these other men online and shit talking about because women listen to these other men online talking about um, if a woman has kids she she's dating out of need and this and that man a woman don't even have to have kids and, and still be dating out of what you call need or whatever the fuck y'all talking about. Oh, shit, I forgot. And I forgot that. What the fuck? I'm tripping. <sighs> what the fuck is that? Man, that's why I like seat covers, man. 
I don't know what the fuck that shit is. I hate them because you can't see the seat cover, but you know. Make sure y'all get one of these. You don't gotta have the expensive shit either. Actually, the expensive one seems to work less. So I just get the Walmart brand. It is what it is. Seems to work. You know what I mean? And you get way more of them. But that's all I gotta say, man. Don't feel bad about it. Don't let nobody tell you that you're wrong for it. You're not wrong for it. That's why it's called the right person for you. Maybe this guy you like a lot better and he's perfect. Nobody's perfect. But to you, he's perfect, right? He's perfect. But he don't want to deal with your kids, only you. But this guy over here, he's cool as shit too. You like him. He not as, you don't like him as much as that one, right? But you like him enough. And he is willing to deal with your kids. Who's the better choice? Or I could say this. This girl's like a model looking chick and this girl's a good looking chick. You like the model chick looking better, but she's not dealing with your kids and this one is. Which one's the better choice? I mean, this is common sense, man. Sometimes people, you know, they don't look at shit from the right perspective. Tom Brady got more Super Bowls, but Joe Montana got no Super Bowl losses. I mean, pick your poison. Jordan got no Super no losses in the championship. LeBron got six. Should I, um, I think I'll go with the never experiencing the loss. Yeah, you won. You've been to more. You might have won more. But I ain't never lost any. Fuck it. Let me get to that one. AKA translation. You might got more girls, but I got one that ain't never broke my heart or did me dirty and all these girls and done you dirty. So yeah, I'd stick over here. You know what I'm saying? Period. I'm just being honest. Oh yeah, you got a lot more women, but you sharing them all. This girl's all mine. You know what I mean? Which one better? Or, yeah, you getting more attention than me because you showing your body on Facebook and I'm not. I'm getting attention, but mine shit's more real and more authentic. Which one's really better? Yeah, she's getting all the likes and shit, but yours is, at least yours is more authentic. Y'all get the point, man. Like I said, I'm going to get off here. Do what I got to do. Um... Don't deal with a man that's not willing to deal with your kids. I don't give a fuck. I wouldn't. I mean, you can't shove the shit down the man's throat immediately. But, you know, um, you're not going to have to. This is the point. If a man really, <clears throat> if a man's the right one, you're not going to have to um, force your kid down his throat. Because he's all, by default, he's going to adjust to that when he's ready. He's going to make his way towards that because he's fucking with you. That's just how it is. Somebody who really fuck with you, of course. But, you know, if they don't, then that shit ain't going to happen. You're going to have to beg the guy to fuck with your kids and fuck with you. And, you know, it ain't even just about kids. It's just in general. Like, if somebody really trying to fuck with you, you don't got to beg them to text you or see you or none of that bullshit, you know? You only got to do this shit when it's somebody not fuck with you. Remember that. The right person is the right person for a reason. They're called the right person for you, for a reason. They might not be the right person for this one or that one, but they could be the right person for this one or that one. That's just the way it is. This is why sometimes a relationship don't work with you and this person, but then later on, it works with the next person or whatever. Yes, people change and shit too, but a lot of it has to do with the two people. Do they really make a good team to make a relationship work. You could be two good people, two good lovers, and the relationship still not work because you guys don't match up good together. Because they're not the right person for you, you know? So she could be a good woman, right? But she doesn't want to be a good woman to me because let's say I got three kids or something. So she's not going to be the right woman for me, but she'll be the right one for a guy who ain't got no kids or whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's just the way it is, man. But y'all believe what y'all want. And, you know, my little cousin get mad all she want. I don't care. Because I know I'm right. And I refuse. I refuse to um not say what's right. And what's right is 
she or whoever woman, whatever woman, is settling when, if you got kids and you're dealing with a man and you're saying that you don't got to deal with my kids, just deal with me. You're settling. You're settling. I mean, basically, that's just a booty call, basically. Because what else? What, uh, so the only time you're going to deal with him is when you're not around your kids, right? Because you're saying he don't got to deal with the kids, just you. Or how they say it, take care of my kids. How can I be around you and your kids and not do nothing for you? That don't make, so I'm just around you all the time, but I'm not going to buy ice cream. I'm not going to do shit. How is that possible? It's impossible. If I'm around you and your kids, it's impossible for me not to do shit for them. They, they making it seem like a man could be in a house with you and live with you and all this other shit. And the kids are just there and he's just there and not, nothing happens and they don't have to interact with them. Come on, man. It doesn't make sense at all. At all. I don't know about y'all, but if I was a woman and I had kids, I'm dating somebody for my kids too. Plain and simple. Now I'm going to try to help out and shit. I ain't trying to just make the guy just come in and take care of my whole entire world. I don't agree with that. But I'm going to, um, when I pick, I don't even got to be a woman. I could just say that if I was a guy with a kid. When I pick a woman, if I have a kid, I hope it don't happen that way for me. You know, if I have a kid by a woman, I hope I'm with that woman. But let's say that um, I did and it didn't work that way. When I date, I'm dating a woman um, for my kid too. I'm not going to try to make her be a mom right away and shit, but she's going to know off top, I got a kid. And I'm going to see what type of mother she is whether she has a kid or not i'm gonna to try to look and see it's harder to tell if a woman don't got a kid but if she already got kids i can clearly see what type of mother she is you know what i mean so that's going to determine if i fuck with her or not that don't mean that she got to be a full-time mom to my kid and shit but she's going to be in my kid's life therefore she's important so i have to date with that type of mentality i can't date with the mentality of you're just there, you know, when my kid sees you and you see my kid, it don't mean shit. Y'all just look at each other and never say anything or never interact or never. She never helps you. You never help her. Come on, man. That's craziness. Now, when it's a woman that's saying that you just got to take care of my kids and if you want to get with me and now that's crazy. A woman should be trying to be on her shit. I get that part. Because you don't know when you're going to meet the right guy, if you ever. So you got to be a mother first. But when you're dealing with a man, at some point, he's going to have to play some type of role in your kid's life. And he's going to want to. That's the key. I'm going to keep saying it. The right guy for you is going to want to do that at some point. Maybe not immediately, but at some point, he's going to want to do that because he fucks with you. Plain and simple, there's no way around it. A woman who really fuck with you is going to be like, is your daughter okay? Or, or let me make this birthday cake for your daughter. This is facts. You can't make this shit up. Now, maybe the mom might feel offended or whatever. I don't know. I don't get into all that. I don't want to deal with it. Hopefully, I'll never have to. But I guarantee you, a woman that fuck with a guy and she knows that that's her kid, his kid, she going to want to do something like, you want me to uh, make sure your daughter got this or that for her birthday? She's not going to be like, that's not my kid. I ain't doing shit. That's a woman who don't fuck with you. This is facts. And even if I said, nah, I, her mom got it. You ain't got to worry. I guarantee you that woman still going to want to do something. Or here's another thing. This is how you know if a woman really care about you or not. Let's say that you have kids. And you don't, let's say you're kind of like a deadbeat dude. You don't want to take care of your kids like that. A woman who really fuck with you ain't going to fuck with you if you're not fuck with her, your kids. She's going to want you to fuck with her, your kids. Or she's not going to fuck with you. There's no way a woman that really fuck with you is okay with you not taking care of your kids. But she's going to fuck with you. It don't, it don't work that way. Ain't no fuck away. Or you just take, let's just say this, I got two baby mamas. Right? If that other, if one, either one, both of them are going to want me to take care of both of my kids because they really fuck with me. They know that's part of me. 
There ain't no way that they'd be like, I don't care if you fuck with them, just fuck with my kids. That's a woman that don't really fuck with you. Ain't no way. Because she knows that that other kid is your kid. There's no way, man. There's no way that I could be like, you know what? I got a kid by you, but, and I know you got a kid by him, but we not, we, we gonna special treat the one that we got. Yeah, I didn't get into this. I didn't get into that. Say I got a kid by a woman later after she had a kid by somebody else. You know, this is our kid, so this is the only one that we're going to treat right. We're going to treat this one better than that. That's I don't get it, man. I don't get it. I couldn't do that. If I got with a woman with kids, and then I had a kid later by the woman, there's no way I could be like, this is our kid, and, you know, so they're going to get treated. How can you do this? Can't. I couldn't do it. I couldn't. Even though I know, yeah, that's my biological kid, but it don't matter. Because by default, all of them are my kids. Just like when I when I see a kid out in the street, can you buy me some cigarettes? I can't. Because even though I don't know you, you still like, I treat you like you're my kid because I know you're somebody else's kid. I can't buy you them cigarettes. I want you to party and shit, but I can't because I don't know. I know your mom don't know and your dad don't know. I don't want to be the one that ruined Y'all little teenage fun or whatever the fuck y'all got going on. But I'm not going to be the one to enhance it and, and allow it. So I can't do it. You know what I mean? As much as I would like to get y'all these 40s, I can't do it. Because I wouldn't want nobody to do that to my kids. And I'm always going to look at other people's kids like my kids by default. By default. I have to. Stay in school, dog. Man, don't worry about these women right now. I tell a lot of people. A lot of young dudes. Just like I'm their dad. I transform into their dad, basically. Or uncle, whatever fuck. And they not even kin to me. They could be white, whatever. I've done it so many times. It don't matter. So, this is my whole point. It's really not about, oh, that's my biological kid. And that's the only kid that I'm ever going to try to be some type of father figure or influence to. It's not about that. It's about any kid. It's all, it's the whole entire world. The whole entire world. Now, I know you want to smoke. I know you want to kick it and all that, bro. But really, maybe you should sacrifice this stuff right now. Go to school, play basketball, and then you have all the girls and partying you want later on in life. That's just how I'm going to come at it. That's just how I'm, I'm always going to be. I'm always going to be that way with younger people. Because somebody did that to me at some point. The question is, do you listen or not? You might be the one person that struck something. In that person to change them forever. That little teenage kid that then and everybody else, while everybody else is telling him to do this or that, you might be the one that's nah, I don't do that. Like at my job, there's a younger guy. Everybody, oh yeah, get pussy. Ha, ha. I'm the one to be like, nah, I don't do that, man. Focus on man, look, man, that girl's good, man. You you wait till later, you might not be able to get a good one like this. I'm the one that's doing this shit. Why everybody else, oh yeah, get pussy. You know what I mean? And it's really, it's kind of like hating because the older guys know better. You know that's not the right way. But instead of you telling that young dude at my job to do this, even though he's hard-headed, he's not going to listen anyway. I'm just using that as an example. He's not going to listen, trust me. I've already tried plenty of times. He'll get it at some point, maybe. But that's kind of like hating because you know what's right. But you're going to be like, nah, well, even though he, he has a better chance to be better than me, so I'm not going to tell him any gems. You know what I mean? I'm just going to tell him to do the dumb shit like I did. I can't do that, man. Dog, I fucked up. I could have played basketball or whatever. Don't do that. You know what I mean? Because I'm not jealous of the young generation, I want them to be good. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like women do the same thing with the younger women. They know what's wrong. You know what I mean? You know what's wrong. But then when a man comes at them and say, I'm bashing, or he's a woman hater or something like that, instead of saying he's right. Why is that so hard? He's right. Nope. They don't want to do it. They want to keep the cold. And now eventually this woman going to get hung by the sword too. Because a lot of older women are in competition with younger women. And this is why this shit happens. But if you was an older woman on your shit, 
you wouldn't even, there would be no reason to be jealous of the younger women. You would straight come at them with the real shit. Like, yeah, don't do this or that. If you can, try not to have sex until you can find a man that act, seems like he wants to get married. Now, that's the real ticket. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying it's pop. I'm not saying that it's going to, um, I'm not saying that it's easy or you won't slip up, but that should be the goal. You know what I'm saying? That should be the goal. If I had a chance to do it all again, then I'd probably be a virgin until married. You know, I know that's crazy. But if I had a chance to do it all again, or I'd probably be with one woman and only her for, for the ever, like no sleeping with this one or that one or whatever. I'll get the point. I don't regret, but if I had a chance to do it all again, like if I could write a perfect script, that's how it would be. Lose her virginity to one woman, that's it. Her lose her virginity to me, that's it. But, you know, it's too late for that shit. But it's not too late for a lot of other people. A lot of these young, a lot of these older guys know these young dudes are on the wrong path. But instead of telling them the truth, nah, get some pussy, dog. This is crazy. You want him to fuck up his life like you fucked up yours. That's what you want. That's jealousy. That's hate. Man, look at LeBron's kid. Or take example, LeBron's kid. Man, he bigger than me. Oh, he got a chance to be a millionaire by 18. Fuck that shit. I'm going to let that little nigga keep smoking blunts and shit. Instead of telling him the truth. It's bullshit, man. It's bullshit, bro. I'm telling you right now, if I had a chance to like run into a, a dude that like LeBron's kid's side and shit, the size and shit like that, and I see him, and I know him or some shit like that, even if I didn't know him, but I know he got a chance, and he tried to party and shit, though, if I get a chance, I'm going to try to talk to him. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to try to tell him the truth. Why would I not? You know what I'm saying? And sometimes this is why a lot of um, people, a lot of women don't want to deal with certain men. Because they feel like if you're this type of guy, that you try to be their dad or some shit like that. But you're really not. Like, say you, you talk to a girl, you'd be like, Shit, instead of drinking and driving, just hit me up. I'll come, I'll come swoop y'all up, take y'all home. Now, most women are going to look at this as unattractive or you're trying to be their dad because the guy who don't give a fuck about you, uh, he don't care if you're drinking and drinking, just come over here. He's just trying to fuck. He's not going to tell you. He's not going to say, nah, don't come over today. You've been drinking. It's cool. I can wait. He's not going to do that. All he care about is fucking. But a guy that really fuck with you, man, I do want you to come over so we can fuck around and shit, but you've been drinking. Just stay home. I got We'll get it another time. You know what I mean? Whatever, man. I'm done talking about this shit, man. Like I said, man, y'all have a good day.